Kicking oh, ass and know. taking names, bitch. Get back, and get back to work. Yes. Yes, definitely grab a shower. Have to get you all nice and clean. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. Look at The guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's going to slip us something. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Lovely Carla Valenti. The fan fiction possibilities are endless, Magnata. Okay, so I think this one matters. Yeah, we picked Carla before. I'll just go with Tyler. Now for the sassy black cop. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Several elements match the M.O. of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart, all this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information. Oh, hi, doggy. Right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. <laughs> so, what's the plan now? Check the local hospital look at that to see swagger. if they've got any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. The book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay. I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you going to work on? There's something that I need to verify. Carla asked me to see what I could find out. Oh, no. Found it might be able to tell us something about the killer. This is my least favorite part of the game. And I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Oh, my. So I'm going to load up a one. Da -da -da -da. Just a sec. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, Mugwai not for sale at any price. My name is Takeo. Tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn, this guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlin. He offers me a little box with a monster in it. I am gone. I did not remember that they referenced that. I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the worthless well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extends wholly to books I sell here. Well, actually, I'm a detective with the NYPD. Yo, immigration. You come blame my treasure? All paper store family is legal. You verify it. No problem. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not here to bust you. Yes, you no got warrant. You go now. This private property. Yeah, great strategy, Tyler. Nice work. Thanks anyway. At least I tried. Uh, 
Did I just lose? Oh no, that's right. I remember. Yep. Just, ugh. This game is one of the things that I hate about these kind of camera angle games. When you switch scene, the direction that you're already pushing on becomes whatever that new direction is. So it's a little bit jumps on you. Uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. One client ordered very rare book. Since this morning, I looked for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It's from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? <laughs> Norwegians! <laughs> that actually is kind of a spoiler. There is a gay character in this game. Ugh, come on. There we go. So this is the book from the diner. This is the book that they found uh, at the scene of the crime, The Tempest by Shakespeare. find any fingerprints, perhaps. Hello. Qu'est-ce que c'est? To my brother... For his 18th birthday, MK. To my brother for his 18th birthday, MK. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Bushido. I didn't see you. Sorry about that. Good evening to you. Hope you're well. I uh, I couldn't get I couldn't get Silent Hill 4 to work for some reason, so we're gonna do more uh, Indigo Prophecy. Don't think there's anything else I need in this book. Hello. A torn piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of notes. Fell out of a book. Must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out of the office. Okay. I'm just following a walkthrough here, because this part I remember taking me a long time, and it's really annoying. So I didn't want to bore you guys. Basically, you just have to look for the book that the, the uh, stereotypical Asian man is talking about. And there's all the book shop. Ha, Ah, come on, you stupid camera. Okay, up to the third floor. No. 
Okay. Doop doop doop. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> what is two rai plus three rai? Five rais. This should be the right book. It doesn't matter, the first book you pick up is the right one, as long as you're in the right section. Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? Is there any way to find out who would have sold this book? Nah, this book ain't worth enough for any seller to remember it. Kind of Bushido. It's uh, it's an action Is detective it just style me? Did game. You lose your accent. Oh yeah. It's made by the same people That's who made um, uh, Heavy I Rain. Love that wise old Jack PS2 Bushido. game called Indigo Prophecy. I was born in Brooklyn, man. I never been no further than Long Island. <laughs> I'm more American than you are, man. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? Ooh, bonus. Yeah, it's uh, it's got some really, really weird writing. And if you've ever heard the term coined by some um, game reviewers called Went Indigo Prophecy, this is what that's from. There's a lot of quick time events, and the writing is really, really good up to a certain point, and then it just gets freaking weird. But it's a lot of fun. I like as far it. Far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah. You've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I have decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, Carla has a bad case of claustrophobia. Without stopping until I find the computer terminal. Which makes for a fun but annoying little action sequence. Which box around here? No, oh, I gotta turn on the lights or something. <laughs> well, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Ding. Okay, so now I have to keep this in the middle of the gauge or she'll run away and scream. I have to alternate to keep it in the middle of the screen. So I'm really not going to be paying much attention to chat, so if you guys want to make fun of me, now's a good time. Ah, uh, the life of a librarian. I used to be a librarian. True story. Indigo Prophecy, Cold Case.
Okay, so that's back. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. So she's also afraid of the dark. Awesome. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. Or heroine. Jason! Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Nope. I gotta move that first. Okay, now I'm getting kind of frustrated. <laughs> ah, shoot. I'm freaking out. I can't breathe. I gotta get out of here. Carla, the librarian. You can't actually kill yourself uh, this way. If I keep failing, um, she'll eventually go nuts. <laughs> Natural cup. Afraid of tight spaces in the dark. Phantasmagoria! Yeah, she's a cop. Detective, technically. Um, just to back you up a little bit on the story, um, you go back and forth between the main character, who's named Lucas, who wakes up in a bathroom after having killed someone that he couldn't remember, and so these, so then you switch back and forth to the cops who are trying to find him. So it's really interesting, I think. Okay, now this is getting old. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. If you've heard of or played Indigo Prophecy, it's very similar. Um, or Indigo Prophecy, I mean Heavy Rain. Yoshida. Of course, this game is similar to Indigo Prophecy. Derp. <laughs> Fahrenheit, of course, for those who are unaware, is the original uh, title for this game. That's what the title was when it was released in Europe. Because this is actually made by French game designers. Okay, here we go. The exciting life of a librarian! The horrors of the archives. Starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Paper cuts of the dead. All right, see you later, Bushido. There's no power to the terminal. I guess 
There must be a switch box somewhere. Really? <sighs> What's a paladin? There it is. Switch box count to ding. Oh, not a problem at all, Bushido. If I miss a joke, you know, it's probably over my head or something. I like I, I like to think I have a dry sense of humor too. Qu'est-ce que c'est ton merdeur? I think I found it. The file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. Just the name of a detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. Mitchell. 